Welcome to the Phoenix Zone and all things human. I am here at the National Gallery for the opening of the 81 Degrees West Art Exhibition. Yeah, can you tell me your name and your role at the National Gallery? Wow! I'm the uh, director of the National Gallery and chief curator. Wow, and tonight I'm part of the wider curatorial team. And my name is Natalie Aircraft. Could you please tell me a little bit about tonight's ex exhibition? Absolutely. So tonight we are looking at a lot of works that um, belong to the National Gallery on behalf of the people of the Cayman Islands. So we're often looking at the National Collection and looking at different ways we can tell a story through those artworks. And that's really what curating an exhibition is. It's storytelling uh, with the help of lots of different artists. So tonight we're looking at map making and cartography and how that's inspired a lot of our artists in Cayman from Bendel Hides all the way through to someone like Brandon Saunders, who's a young digital artist doing some really exciting work. Hi, thank you so much. Vince. My pleasure. Thank you so much for your interest. And we'll definitely see you back at the gallery. Could you please tell me your role at the National Gallery? Yeah, my name's William Helfrecht and I I am the collections curator at the National Gallery of the Cayman Islands. So what was the motivation for tonight's exhibition? So tonight's exhibition is, I think, a very interesting topic. It's all about maps and cartography, which is this discipline of mapping, drawing maps, planning them out, creating maps of the world. And we're really focusing on Cayman and the Caribbean and looking at how maps and cartography have influenced the visual arts and in particular contemporary artists here in Cayman. So looking at things like um, the influence of old historical nautical charts and some of those elements of maps and how they have translated into visual arts, so painting, sculptures, artwork and that kind of thing. So how many artists are here at tonight's exhibition? So we have about 15 artists in the show. Um, not all of them could be here tonight, but a lot of those artists have work that's in our national collection. So that's this body of objects that the National Gallery holds for the Cayman Islands government. So some of those works are works that we own, and we're putting them into sort of like a conversation with new works. So some of the other works have been commissioned specially for this exhibit. So that means the artists made them. They looked at the topic of the exhibition and they said, yeah, I can actually make something that really goes with this show. And so we have a mix of younger contemporary artists, some of them in their early 20s, so pretty young. And then we have some really established, famous Caymanian artists. So I'm talking about people like Bendel Hydes, John Broad, um, Nasaria Suku Shalet. So those are some of our quite well-known artists here. Um, and I think they work really well together. And the other part of the, ex uh, the exhibit is um, actually historical maps themselves. So for those who are interested in maps, we have about 20 historical maps. Some are original, so that means that's the real thing. Uh, and others are facsimiles, so they're copies of very, very old maps. Um, some of them as far back as the early 1500s. So it's a real nice mix of historical work and more modern pieces. So how long will tonight's show be running for? So this exhibition is up for four months. So tonight's the opening night when we celebrate the artists. We have um, the governor in attendance. We have the Minister of Culture and various other dignitaries and invited guests. So it's kind of an opportunity to celebrate, as I said, the, the opening of this new exhibition. And it's going to be up for four months. So it opens to the public tomorrow, 6th of October. And it runs all the way until the 2nd of February, 2024. So you've got time to come back, enjoy the exhibit, time. see it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.
No problem, my brother. Yes, 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 yes. Great minds need the light. This is a heritage. The only commandments, in fact, my father was one of them. They were known as seamen. They were respected around the world for their seamanship, building up the boats, uh, working on the boats. So, our whole life at the beginning, what was the Cuman Island? Was built around this, the seas and these maps is how they found a lot of new way they were going. So it's very important to see their culture, to see their heritage. How is this community? The community can help by supporting them, coming out to these type of events, buying their products, supporting them that way, and encouraging them, and especially their own young family members. Like how your father is encouraged you to do things like this because that's what he does. They should also encourage the young ones to go into the arts. Because it's a beautiful thing to be able to do art, art work. I wish I could. Even my stick man do your good. Anytime you better keep it up and do stuff, okay? Yeah. So here with Mr. Paula. Can you please tell us your role at the National Gallery? My name is Carl, Carl Brown. I'm an artist and so have been part of the National Gallery community for the better part of 25 years. I've been a part of being, uh, having been the privilege of having exhibitions, participating in exhibitions, so some of my photography and a little bit of painting, and I've been a part of helping the gallery reach to where we are now, from the days where we were exhibiting in spaces um, around the Cayman Islands and now we have a prominent uh, our own home for the last um, in excess of 10 years and I'm chairman of the board but that doesn't mean that I don't get down on the dock and do what everybody else does to make it work so part of my role is to enable our gallery to reach its full potential along with our board of directors and we plan programs to make sure that from youngsters to our older persons uh, who are involved in community life, that they can express themselves artistically to any medium artistically. So that's part of my role in a small kind of a way. So how do you think the community can help local artists? The community can help local artists by coming to view their work when they have developed it and to cheer them along. The community can also help local artists by buying their work because artists spend a lot of time thinking about what they would like to put either in sculpting or painting or, uh, or putting together an exhibit. Um, an arrangement, they need you to be able to not only come to look at their art but to buy their art and to speak about their art and to question them about why did they do this piece of work like that. So in doing all of those things, the community helps to make an artist truly fulfilled and motivated to go to, the, to do the next piece. My pleasure. It was a real privilege to attend the 81 Degrees West Art Exhibition at the National Gallery. I think history is very cool and an important part of understanding the world. The showcasing of the historical maps of the Cayman Islands and seeing the new artists' works is something I recommend for everyone to see. Thank you for joining the Phoenix Zone and don't forget to like and subscribe.